Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM Final Mod Pack. When we last left off we have returned from a mission, lost two soldiers, Akos and Billy, and we'll be resurrecting them soon. For now we are basically waiting what happens by the end of the month. We had um, snake men appearing uh, all around the globe and um, soon enough we'll inevitably <laughs> go and fight chrysalids so let's have a look uh, the, the first two soldiers are here but there should be more okay this guy here for 52 where are you going close to me well you're gonna be taken out or even four will take care of that it is just a normal ufo i guess Oh, maybe it's not that normal, because it has fired back, although I think they do actually fire back. <laughs> I don't remember that much, you know, in the vanilla, you just get the plasma weapons very, very soon and then you don't care anymore. In final mod pack we'll be um, fighting a lot of these guys. So uh, this was not a... Um, MIB craft, so it can be either snake men or floaters. I guess we can do a short mission. Maybe we should take uh, our new soldiers with us. Uh, first one with um, good stamina, with very nice firing accuracy, excellent strength and excellent psionic strength, is actually Siga. Welcome to XCOM. We'll get uh, personal armor, and that's about it. And Riz Clark is actually Kenshiro. Welcome to the XCOM, my friend. Reactions horrible. <laughs> strength average, psionic strength horrible. Health could be better, bravery could be better. <laughs> Time units not so good, stamina, yeah, less than average. But. Very nice firing accuracy. So, maybe you won't die. Or maybe I will not sacrifice you <laughs> right away. Um, okay, let's put you on craft. Oh, yeah, we have some wounded guys now. Starting with Zavis, but we do want the two rookies with us as well. Maybe we can take Tutifus and Quintus, <laughs> two I like the names, and uh, the rest will go from up here. Two, one, with Tavish I think, and we need one more doggy. Oh, we don't have any more doggies. That's a shame. Let's take three, not enough store space. Okay, let me sell some stuff, I'll be right back. Okay, I have sold a lot of stuff and I am also sending 500 Delirium to Madagascar. And now we should have enough uh, space, yeah, 266 out of 325. Let's purchase those doggies, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 doggies. That's fine, we shouldn't run out of uh, doggies anytime soon. Let's finish up uh, loading up our crew. Horst can come with us as well this time. I think we have put armor on everybody, yes we did, even on Yoroshi now, and uh, actually I think uh, we need to repair some of uh, the armor we have, so personal armor repair, yes we can do two. Can we do any of these? Yeah, we do have uh, one MIB commander corpse, so let's do that too. We don't have any heavy troopers yet. But, uh, and uh, stormtroopers either. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that when the time comes, uh, not yet. First, I. Oh, excellent. Maybe I should wait for that Toxicon. This uh, baby will stay here for some time. Yeah, let's, uh, let's wait. Illyrium, that's okay. Toxicon Flask is now finished. It has uh, acid damage, 45, not bad. Not many creatures are immune to acid, most of them take actually additional damage. 
This small tank filled with potent acid functions as ammunition for the Toxigun. Cool. And we can now research Toxic Suit. That would be cool, I guess. But uh, I said I wanted to get rid of all these uh, navigators and things like that. So let's uh, start interrogating them one by one, I guess. Sectoid navigator. 25 guys on that. Floater navigator. 25 people. What else do we have here? Some hybrid agents. That's okay. Hybrid supervisor. Do we have any scientists left? Yes, we do. So what about MIB demo man? Yeah, let's do that guy as well. Cool. And now we can manufacture the Toxicon. I don't want to do that, but I do want to equip our craft. <laughs> With a, with a new weapon. Where is it? Toxigun. We have only one. Okay. But we'll definitely try it out. See how it works. So that's about it. Without further ado, let's uh, wait for the dawn. This should be enough. And send Sky Marshal number one after crash site number eight. Here we go. What kind of mission will it be? Okay, let me equip everybody and I'll be right back. And we're back. So let's have a look who has the new guns. Nobody actually has miniguns or heavy machine guns. You are not that strong people. But I think I gave Cobalturion and Wolfpack the medikit. Wolfpack will be trying the Electro Whip. Hopefully we'll be able to see it this episode. Then um, Horst will be trying out the Concussion Cannon, if we ever come to that. And Siga will be trying out uh, the Toxigun. And um, I think I actually will be calling you just Sig or Siggy. Yeah, Siggy. Siggy is uh, nice. <laughs> um, anybody else? I think we still have Kanshiro who is carrying a rocket launcher and that's about it. Again, this kind of terrain. I can't say I like it too much. Oh, it's floaters. Hello. So it's the flyby mission. Hmm. So maybe I should transfer some of the um, fighting crafts uh, to South America. They might be returning back to us. Okay. But they are easy to handle, so... No, as not as dangerous as the... MIB guys. Oh, look at that. Is that the alien laser rifle? I think it might be. Siga. Um, you don't see him, right? Would you be able to shoot? No. Okay. Then stay there. He's facing you very dangerously. I don't know if I want to try to shoot with uh, this guy. You know, we've ha had problems with line of fire in the last episode and I think we'll have problems this time as well. Just, uh, I wouldn't risk it normally, but um, I want to test line of fire. I want to test it out if it's possible to shoot like this. No, it's not. Okay. Hmm. Then um, I think we'll just go here and kill him. Yeah. 27, you have very little. Accuracy. Let's try anyway. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Now, now we have his attention, that's for sure. That also means that Kanshiro can step out and die horribly. No, he actually survived. Look at him go. Hmm. What about here? Now you can see him. 
snapshot. 18% this gun is bad. Yeah, look at that. Only a snapshot. Accuracy 18%. I guess this is only a short range weapon really. So good job Meridian. Giving a short range weapon and a, and a cannon to the two guys who need to step out. That was not a good decision. Bill, you have to save the day. First we need to take out... Uh, that will help as well, put it down on the floor. First we need to take out this guy. No line of fire. Maybe now? Okay, that helped. Now Doggy can uh, try to find out who has been shooting at us, this guy. He's facing this way, I don't know if he can still reaction fire on Siggy or not. But we'll try not risking it really. Um, move over here. Y you just, you know, stay there. There's a standoff, you might survive it. We need to go somewhere around here. 33 will be enough to shoot. Once. And it's a kill, which is excellent. This means that Siggy can step out. Have a look around. He doesn't see anyone. And just in case, uh, we'll throw a smoke grenade right there. And take cover over here. That's cool. So now we can start uh, stepping out of the craft, which is excellent. I know you can see him. You will most probably not be able to shoot. Yeah, as I thought. So... That's much better. Somebody needs to... Oh, Savis is not hurt. Who was hurt then? Who was hurt? Oh, Kenshiro, of course. Kenshiro is badly hurt. I think Quintus? No. Who else? Siga has uh, no time in it, of course. Um, then we have Cobalturian and Wolfpack. Where are you guys? Over here. So, step there, over there. I think Cobalturian will go here and try to help Kenshiro. Heal him. Excellent. Excellent. Then uh, throw that over here, please. Oh, it looks like we can throw a grenade right there. I think we'll even do that because I love it when I can throw a grenade in the middle of the UFO through the roof. That's just... <laughs> you, you, you know, you can't resist that. Um, so... Prime that, you need 15 to throw, which is excellent. Quintus will have the honor. Come out. Face that way. And it's right here, so right there. Cool. <laughs> okay, it's on the... Where is it? What? Where is the grenade? There's something. That's one grenade. That is a corpse. Oh, I guess because it's in the black area we don't see it. I guess that must be the case. So we won't know if it's on the top or not. I guess it's inside. We'll see soon enough. We have a grenade, which will a smoke grenade, which will protect us. Doggy? There's one more. Good scouting. We'll uh, take him out using... Uh... Well, we can't use this weapon anymore. Tavish. What about you? 42 is enough for an aimed shot. But there's a hill over here. <laughs> I guess we'll just... Um... Throw a grenade there. Nah, that seems like a waste. Why don't you run over there, please? Oh, that's uh, that's good. 
good scouting there. Tavish, you have bad reactions, bad firing accuracy, bad sounding skill. You are expendable. Shoot. Not enough time units. Well, you have just improved <laughs> and saved yourself. Wolfpack, come and prepare over this way. Savior. There is one smoke here, one smoke there, so they shouldn't be able to surprise us from the craft. Yeah, that's fine. Savior, come out. That's fine. And even Hellraiser. Can you shoot that the guy? Almost, almost. Order mind, stay in the craft. And Arbibo too. Next turn. <laughs> that was three smokes and ouch. And, oh, Kenshiro didn't survive. That's a shame. And Doggy has been killed. I completely forgot these guys can just float. <laughs> and uh, take advantage of us being uh, in the low ground. Yeah, my mistake. Sorry, Doggy. Should have seen this coming. Really should have seen this coming. So, where are the guys uh, with new fancy weapons? Siga. Well, we know this is a short-range weapon now. And it has only a snapshot. It is actually pretty pathetic. We'll try to use it nevertheless inside the UFO if possible. Cobalturian, um, you did a very good job healing. Healing um, Kanshiro over there, but um, now it's time to shoot. Whoops, that was a misclick. Dang it! Oh, that was a double click. And why did you even shoot that? There's nothing there. Well, I guess it works that way also. Sorry, that was my mistake. Fortunately, you didn't have to pay with your life, which is excellent. Now, although I would like to take the Toxic Gun on this guy, I think we'll have to use a Sniper Rifle because the Toxic Gun is just uh, way too underpowered. Oh, come on, guys. You have Sniper Rifles. Kill it. See, that's how you do it. Okay, I don't think we have killed anyone with the grenade, which is less than optimal. The smoke grenade didn't help us, uh, so maybe we should uh, have thrown a um, proxy grenade there. We do not have any proxies. Yeah, we don't have any proxies. Good, then uh, what else can we do? I don't think there's anybody else over there. Man, we have lost a guy again against floaters. Such a shame. Such a shame. Quintus, give me your best aimed shot. Thank you very much. That will be all. Yeah, it's again a very, very small map. One, two... Three only 4x4 four four tiles. I really don't like such small maps, but... Okay, really looking forward to open uh, Terror from the Deep, where the maps are like 10x10 10 10 or something like that. This is really ridiculous. All the aliens are cramped in one tiny spot and gang up on us. Okay, Savior, can you do anything? A grenade, do you think you can throw it... All the way there. Doesn't make any sense. Just come over here. And stay there. One more step. A few more steps. Horst. Maybe 
this shotgun of yours will come in handy somehow. Concussion can... It has an aimed shot and a snapshot. Also, atrocious accuracy. Wow, these uh, new super guns, I guess they are not so cool. Your accuracy is how much, Horst? 60. So it's not your fault. It's uh, the weapon's fault. Yeah, no wonder the aliens couldn't hit me. Look at the percentages here. Pathetic. Wow. What about this gun? Snapshot 48. Wolfpack. Firing accuracy 57. Yeah, these weapons are very, very inaccurate. Hmm. So I might end up selling them instead of using them. Okay, we wanted to see if this weapon can do anything, so let's bring you closer to the UFO. And Erbibo and Ordermind will prepare themselves over here as well. Hmm. What was that? Somebody shot at Tavish. Do you need help? No. And you can see a guy right there. Kill him. Okay. Kill him. Oh. Blue cape. Are you some sort of leader? Okay. Siga needs 21 to shoot his weapon. We'll see how effective it is. At least, you know what? Uh, come here. <laughs> because if you are like one square away, you will miss. So let's see how effective this weapon is against floaters, which are very squishy, from the back. Snapshot. Okay, it's pretty effective, I would say. And this is a very cool looking UFO. Oh, it's the new models by Hellraiser. Good job, Hellraiser. This is an excavator, if I'm not mistaken. And it looks pretty sweet. It really does. I really thought it would be the standard uh, large scout, but it's not. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so we tried the Toxigun. Now, where's the other door? I think it's... Uh... Over here, maybe? Let's just go there. Stay there. You cannot stay there like this, so um, Tavish will have to go and open the door. This is the mistake many, many people and also Let's Players do. You can't just stand before the doors without opening them, because you are begging the aliens to c open the door and shoot you. So if you have any time units left, just open the door, have a look inside, see if you need to do anything or not. This time we were lucky and uh, it seems like... Uh, Siggy will survive, but, uh, you know, there's no reason not to open the doors if uh, if you have the time units to do so. And if you don't have the time units to do so, then you shouldn't have um, come there at the first place. Okay, this looks fine. Hide over here, please, Tavish. Yeah, they would have to come all the way, open the doors and shoot at Siggy, so I, I think he's okay. I think he's okay. Then Cobalturian and um, Tutifus will go here and back up uh, Horst. And one more guy, Quintus, will also go and back up uh, the other guys on the other side. And three and three squads, I think, are more than enough. Let's just uh, double check if there's really nobody over on this side. Seems like it's clear and send uh, also order mind to check this side of the map. Seems okay. And the rest of you, um, you're basically safe. You can stay there and enjoy the weather. Let's just you out of smoke so that you don't suffocate or anything and let's concentrate on this uh, small ufo wow okay <laughs> again i forgot that these guys actually can float what do you know 
Man, that sucks. Lost two guys against freaking floaters. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's at least try how this weapon performs on distance. No line of fire. Ah. You don't even know how I hate that message. Well, you can see him too. Aim shot? No line of fire. Serious. Okay. So what about now? Oh, that was cool. How many how many projectiles were that? I think it was more than one, right? Maybe I can still give this weapon one more try. It's definitely a short range weapon, but it seems to be effective. Lost two operatives. Um, absolutely unhappy about that. I have to say. Let's bring them back. And maybe I should start thinking about uh, some new armor. We are dropping like flies, although they have been shooting with uh, heavy plasma, so I guess not even a uh, new armor will help us that much. Anyway, 26 minutes. I guess we can uh, continue a little bit further and uh, stop where some action begins and save there and continue in the in the next episode. So let's fast forward time. Doggies are here. And two more soldiers are here. That's okay. And two more soldiers. I will rename them at the beginning of the next episode, I guess. Oh, and we have um, Alien Terror at St. John's. St. John's. Hmm. Yeah, chrysalids. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what's um, gonna happen in the next episode. 14 very unfortunate guys will have to go and fight those crab-like thingies. The black demons. <laughs> and if you don't know what... Oh, it's not 64, it's 65. Right? If you don't know what black demons mean, it's the name for chrysalids in uh, in a uh, fan fiction, in a book by Hobbes, um, written I think 10 years ago or so. It's about um, XCOM, obviously. It's called the XCOM Unknown Menace, I think. And you can find it on www.fanfiction.com or some similar site. I will actually post the link in the comments or in the description below so that you can have a look at it. It's very, very good. I have uh, read about 200 pages already from 600 and it's really awesome. If you have some time and you like XCOM, it's a, it's a must read. <laughs> anyway, enough talking. Till next time, bye bye.